Now, does anybody ever do like cereal at night if they don't want to eat what, if they don't like what somebody's making? Yeah, you know what? Uh, most of the guys that aren't in for chow, but they'll still come in and sit with us, but okay. won't eat what you're eating because of dietary reasons. Right. You know, um, for example, you guys, ha you, you, there's a, a, one fireman who works here is, is vegan. Okay. So he doesn't eat there meat or anything. Uh, other guys um, only eat chicken, not red meat. Some guys eat no cheese. So. Right. Well, it smells amazing. Even okay. though you guys can't smell it on television, it does smell amazing. It smells amazing. Amazing. Tastes pretty good, too, right? We're there. Dude, we can probably call Chow here in about... Is the in engine back yet? Negative. Now, do you wait for guys to come back, or how do you, how do, you do it? Well, unfortunately, there is no rhyme or reason, but most of the time, as I'm sure he's already mentioned, that you will find that you'll call Chow, everybody will sit down, the bell will go off, right. and you come back later, and you eat when you can. I mean, yeah. I'm just texting the chief that Chow's ready to go, so we don't have to wait for him. We're always waiting for somebody. Usually not the chief, believe it or not. Yeah, Does the chief ever have to cook? Never. Well, yeah, it's a privilege. So He's earned it. Now, do you decide ahead of time who's going to clean up, or...? You know, um, th there's a couple things we do. We normally okay. play cards. We to see who um, does the dishes. Do we play poker or do we play? Just play uh, usually one card called pass the queen. Whoever's stuck gets to uh, do the dishes. But with 10 guys, there's so many dishes here. We normally all help, help out. out and leave a few right there for the loser. I got you. So. But you shouldn't have to help because you cooked, right? right. Yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're the, the yeah, right. if you're the cook. The cook okay. doesn't do the dishes. Okay. This is Paul. He's from a different Hi, station Paul. working Hi. overtime. So, Hi, Maria. So another little uh, di dynamic of uh, being an overtime guy working the day is um, sometimes you're the cook when you're the overtime guy, but okay. you almost always buy dessert when you're overtime. Okay. So, you know, Paul bought ice cream today. So oh, nice. It's kind okay. of another unwritten rule. Very nice. So, so the engine's yeah. back, so. Now, after the bell rings and Jay calls Chow, everyone finds their way to the dinner table. There's hot tortillas over here. Get it while it's hot. This is our chief. It's your chief. Come on in, 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 chief. So we hear that you never have to cook, so you just get to enjoy the food. <laughs> oh yeah, it's been a whopping eight months. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cooking for 21 and a half years. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for the last eight months, these guys have been very nice and not made me cook. Nice. So how hard is it to keep track of these guys? Hey, yeah, get that yeah, camera right go. on them. There you go. <laughs> okay, like, go herd, like herding cats. <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's actually not hard at all because everybody from the... From the bottom to the top does their job, so. And as you can see, just like that, an amazing dinner is served. And of course, cameraman Mark has been slaving away. He's more than ready to eat dinner. As Mark and I joined the dinner table, I can tell you firsthand, one of the best meals I've ever had. The food and the company and the conversation were five-star all the way. We really felt like we were a part of this firefighter family. Thanks, guys. I hope you've enjoyed our behind the scenes at Fire Station 106. A very big thank you to Jay and all the guys on the squad. Dinner was delicious. We'll be back next week. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time. Jay has left the table, and he is out here working out. Now, how long are you actually on that for? One hour. It's what we do. Every night after dinner, we come and work out. we got to stay active. Okay. But, but you're an hour. Like, everybody, does everybody go in for an hour? Or? Uh, minimum. No, half hour to an hour. It is average, All right. but uh, yeah, I've been hitting an hour, hour to two hours lately. Okay, what, about so, the, what about the weights? Um, yeah, light weights, lots of reps early okay. in the morning, and then just pure cardio at night, treadmill at night. I usually do about a five-minute walk okay. just to warm up, and then uh, I try to do like a seven-minute mile for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. So no, no ice cream for you tonight? No, no ice cream tonight. <laughs> but, you know, I've been here for four days, too, so that, that might change. If I'm done after 45 minutes and that I'm done just because I'm so tired. I've been here for four days. Wow. So, but I try to get out here every night and so does everybody else. These guys are giving you a hard time in there, you know that? Yeah, of course, of course they are. They're just jealous. <laughs>